Hello everybody, welcome or welcome back to the channel. My name is Mickey. If you are new here, I am 34 weeks pregnant with baby number one and we are having a boy. I can't believe, wow, 34 weeks, that's so crazy. We are getting so stinking close. Today we are gonna go ahead and do a, another update. We are going from 29 weeks to 33 weeks today. You might have noticed I took a little bit of a break from posting. Guys, third trimester is exhausting. <laughs> Talk about my symptoms like I usually do, show you guys the belly. With that being said, if you guys like the video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, press that subscribe, down below and we'll get right into the symptoms. All of the things that you're that are expected to happen in third trimester just like happened all at once. Baby boy flipped to a head down position and he has been head down ever since 26 weeks. So with him being head down that caused a lot of pain and whatnot. <laughs> 29 week mark, let's just get right into it. Baby boy is big now. <laughs> I feel like my belly has not grown that much since around the 26, 27 week mark, but he is definitely growing. <laughs> I can definitely tell. One of the major things that started around the 28 week mark is that I completely lost my appetite. Second trimester, I was so hungry all the time. And now in third trimester, I'm way less hungry and I can't eat very much at once. I've been having a lot of nausea and indigestion and heartburn, of course. If you know, you know, my heartburn journey has been chest kiss. The indigestion has been a lot. I really feel like it's just like he's so big. He's pushing on my stomach. There's not enough room for me to have big meals. So small meals very frequently because I still, I don't know, it's so weird because I'm still hungry, but I just have no desire. Also around the 29 week mark is when I started experiencing weird circulation issues in my leg. So if I'm like standing too long or walking around for too long, then my legs get like splotchy and tingly. <laughs> super cool, super cute, I know. We took Jupiter to get fixed yesterday and she's literally just like staring at the wall with her cone against the wall. <laughs> Everything that like I'm gonna mention, I kind of wrote down week by week. I've been really bad at tracking things, but pretty much everything I'm gonna mention has been happening from like the 28 week mark till now. So week 30, mad insomnia. And that the insomnia has, has been lasting the whole time. Like I mentioned, I had a lot of pain from him flipping and being head down. So I have a lot of pelvic pain. That uncomfortability keeps me up at night a lot. And the second thing that keeps me up is is the like anxiety. I want to choose my words carefully here because I do struggle with anxiety, but the the pregnancy anxiety is not quite it's not the same. It's not necessarily that like irrational, overwhelming fear. It's more of like this overwhelming desire for things to be perfect. <laughs> like I would say that it ties into nesting and that like impulse of like, I need to get things ready. I need things to be perfect for the baby. There is of course, a little bit of fear of is the baby healthy? Is the baby going to be fine? I personally have not yet had any like anxiety about birth. I don't know if that'll happen when we get even closer in the last month or so. I feel stressed and anxious about, I don't know, 10% of the time. The uh, other 90% of the time, I'm just so excited because I can't wait for him to be here and I can't wait to be done being pregnant. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> it's not been, it's not been the most fun experience of my life, but you know, worth it. Baby's getting big, pain's happening. Week 31, my back was a wreck. If you're hearing a bunch of sounds in the background, it's my poor Jupiter with her cone running into stuff. <laughs> I've said in a few videos, I do see a chiropractor every two weeks. She specializes in, in treating pre and postnatal patients. And she's been wonderful. And I can't even imagine what it would be like to go through this experience without that because I already have so much discomfort and pain. If I wasn't getting that treatment, I don't even know. Week 32, again, I wrote uh, like hunger slash indigestion. Like I, I am hungry. I'm hungry all the time, thirsty all the time, but I just, 
have absolutely no desire to eat. No food sounds good to me, like ever. And I've also been recently, this is what I wrote for week 33, been struggling a lot with hip pain specifically, kind of like sciatic pain, if you know what that is. <sighs> the main reason why I haven't been able to sleep like this whole week. <sighs> and the last thing I wanted to talk about is how weird the movements feel. Like I said, I feel like my bump hasn't really gotten that much bigger but I feel a lot wider and I can feel him moving like on the sides a lot more and like kind of in my ribs. He was really high yesterday, but he is low again. So pelvic pain for days. But when he moves now, it's not these like sweet little baby kicks. It's like alien moving inside of you like a whole elbow. <laughs> it feels so much different and it's a, like, I don't know, it's not painful per se, but it's a little bit more painful. I kind of love it, but it kind of freaks me out. And I can feel hiccups now, like, very clearly. I can tell when he's hiccuping. Oh my gosh, that's the cutest little thing ever. But they're just so cute and tiny. <laughs> I love it so much. I just am so excited. I do, like I said, like... There's a little bit of stress, a little bit of anxiety, but I am just so overwhelmingly excited and happy. Ah, he's gonna be here so soon. I'm just so excited. That's pretty much it for the symptoms. Like, I haven't been sleeping very well. I've been feeling very nasty. I'm uncomfortable all the time. There you go. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Let's get the bump out and uh, give you guys a peek see of what she's looking like at 46. What? 46? <laughs> what is wrong with me? Pregnancy brain. 34 weeks. <laughs> so here it is with the pants. Pretty big. I feel very, very wide now. Here is the belly shot. I still have the line. I have a lot more stretch marks kind of down here. They're getting a little bit higher. That's what she is looking like. Nice and big, nice and round. When I, sometimes when I see myself in the mirror or like in a reflection, I'm like, dang, she looks pregnant. <laughs> Which, I mean, I'm eight months pregnant, so of course I look pregnant. But yeah, that is it, guys. That's the update. Things have been pretty good. I'm just tired and uncomfortable. So if you did like today's video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Press the subscribe down below. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.